<laughs> hey guys, it's Ted Bogert. Welcome back to the Ted Show with special guest Z. And hey Z, and um, <laughs> no, don't be sorry. It's Tuesday, Gratitude Tuesday. I hope you guys had a beautiful holiday weekend. Guess who's with me live today? It's the one and only Yvonne Sandoval. We're going to be talking about, we're going to give them something to talk about on Give on them our one, something to talk, talk about. about. Love that song. Um, <laughs> anyway, how are you? How was your weekend? It was awesome. It was awesome. Um, I did nothing. I stayed in the house um, Good. and never left the house. I was prisoner for two days. Um, and I escaped yesterday, so yesterday was my escape day. Nice, that was the yeah. rainy day, really yeah. rainy, well, like was, it is today. Yeah. Well, yesterday was actually pretty, wasn't pretty. It wasn't bad at all, actually. We went to uh, Disney. I went to Disney. You went to Disney, not Disney, but like the resorts. I love. Oh, you the love resorts. the resorts? Yes. Yeah. It's, Cheers, by the way. Everyone. Oh yeah, this is not what I ordered, but. Oh well, there you. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! It's, it's on me. It's on mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. So we are back. We're going to talk about this. I love anything that we can do to stay top of mind. So this is Top of Mind Tuesdays. Uh, we want to give you tools, especially our real estate community, but really any small business owner or anybody who's out in branding and marketing. Uh, Yvonne is the pro here. We're going to give you some tools to stay top of mind. So before we do that, you know, the people who've been under a rock that might not know you, tell them a little bit about what you do. Well, I work with real estate agents. I help them stay top of mind with their database of contacts um, by just doing it for them. But I also teach um, realtors how to do what they need to do to stay on top of mind with their uh, database of contacts. So well, um, I have class coming up this week. If you happen to be in the villages. Oh, that's right. Um, this is the Lake County um, one, right? Yeah, I, I made up my own commercial because I remember from like the 90s, they had a commercial. For the life of me, I can't remember how it goes. So I always I go, the villages. That's the commercial. That's it. Right? Ta -da. It was Eric Estrada. I remember it was it was really, wasn't it? Remember Eric Estrada? Vaguely. Mm -hmm. God, dog. That is so many so moons ago. He was Chips. The, you, Y'all, you young people dun, should dun, Google that one. Dun, Chips was dun, awesome. Dun, 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 Such a dun. big show. Okay, I remember this. The themes. <laughs> I can remember the theme song for Chips. I can remember it's Eric Estrada. But for the life of me, I cannot remember what I had for lunch yesterday. So don't. No, me. or my name. And that's fine. <laughs> um, I'll answer to anything. So I'm having a, I'm having a class on Thursday in the villages. Yes. Um, and then of course we have a class of VIP mortgage. Yes. Next week. July 14th. July 14th. Come Can't on wait. down to VIP mortgage. Yes. Come on down. It's gonna be at what? Uh, 10 o'clock or so? I think it's at 10. Yeah. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be yes. Like, that's next week. It's gonna be Canva believe. class. Canva. It's a Canva. I love Canva. Mm -hmm. if you don't know about yep. Canva. All right. So today, if technology allows us, we are gonna give them something to talk about. So uh, before I bring up the slides, what was the impetus behind this particular uh, topic? Oh, should I go there? <laughs> you should You should go there if you want. I, saw I mean, some, kick off the morning. Okay. Why not? I, I saw some posts that made me think. It made me go, made me go, mm, what was that song? How did that? Things that make you go, mm. mm, that's another one, man. We are 90s today. <laughs> Woo! Well, I saw some posts and I said to myself, what the heck? How is this telling your story? Or is this a story you really want to tell? Uh, maybe it is. Maybe you really want everyone to know that you need to go for a wax. Um, maybe that's because that actually was posted. Um, <laughs> oh, I don't know. Woo, here I, we go. Okay. Am I, am I losing it? No, you're not. Maybe. But you're off camera. You got to scooch closer to me, I think. I'm like, I'm like the, uh, yeah. The, and then, you know, I saw another post about how I sold $50 million this year and without any other, you know, accoutrements to that post. So I, I, I want people to know that, you know, you're just telling a story every time you post on social media. Yes. And every time you send out correspondence, whether it's through email or postcards or just yourself on video, it is a story. So, you know, just be kind of cognizant of that. And if you are a very open person and you want to tell the world about, you know, personal grooming or um, how much money you may have in the bank, you know, this is a thing, you know, that is going to be your legacy. That's yes. going to, oh my gosh, that's going to be your story. That's right. Um, so that's fine. You just have to own it and love it and don't be upset that we bring it up because um, you put it out there and 
that's going to cause a reaction, yeah. which is exactly evoking a reaction. So, all right. So let me pull up the. So it's a little different here, guys. You're going to have to bear with me. I know because I'm here live. I I know, and I have to remember how the heck to do this. Well, I'm super live today. Here we I'm go. On fire. Woo! All right. I don't know how to make that any bigger. Oh, that's good. That's fine. Okay. I have glasses. Okay. <laughs> Look at me. All right, we're going to give him something to talk about. Let me go back in and change this and go to the very first real slide. All right, tell us what's up. So this is kind of the thing. This is the storytelling aspect. You know, let's go, let's start with a story, right? So just the, look, listen to how these things are framed. Okay, so this is the bricklayer story. When the first bricklayer is asked what it is that he does, right? He says, I'm laying bricks, okay? The second bricklayer is asked the same question. What do you do? He says, I'm putting up a wall. Now, the third bricklayer is asked, what do you do? And he says, I'm building a cathedral. Do you see the levels of which you can answer a question or you can tell a story? You can come from, the next one is going to be how I see a lot of realtors. Ooh, let's do it. This is how they tell their story. This is their narrative. So when you ask a real estate agent what they do, they will say, I make money. That's the at first here. Second one, I help people buy and sell homes. Third one, I help people gain financial freedom so they can provide for their families shelter. I mean, do you hear the different ways that you can communicate, right? Yes. So tell me about that because I think it's fascinating. It's mm -hmm. You're right. We get asked that. I'm always amazed at people who are in our industry, especially real estate I'll talk about. Uh, and they don't, they give like this basic generic and how do you buy into somebody? How do you begin to trust somebody or want to do business with somebody? If I feel like you are being uh, removed and not open and not really sharing with me what you do, I don't want to go digging for what you do. I need you to tell me your story. Well, and, and telling people at a high level, what it is you do. I mean, you're not, so if I ask you, Ted, what do you do? I mean, That's a great question, Yvonne. We should do a whole show on that. <laughs> well, if you put it, no, put it into the three layers. Yes. So if I say, Ted, what is it you do? You could say, I am, and it's the, like the lowest form, you can answer it that way. I do loans. There you go. Right. So he says, I do loans. What's the next tier that you could go to? I help people find the right loan product. Right. And then. What's the third level, which is your I level. like the third one for the realtors that you did. I yeah. help people gain financial freedom for their families or something along those lines, See, which exactly. is which is so much more engaging and interesting. Mm -hmm. And it also shows that I put some thought into what I actually do yeah. instead of just giving a basic that somebody could say, well, of course you do loans, Ted, you work at a mortgage company. It's so much deeper than that. You convey mission. You're conveying what your mission is. Yes. And that is at such a higher level. So I'm not saying that you have to speak at higher levels at all times. Yeah, you can get goofy and you can sh you can share things that are going on in your world. Um, of course, because that brings people closer to you and commonality. But this is Simon Sinek. I love Simon Sinek because you know what? He he basically he drew it, he drew it out. He drew it basic. So what's the most important thing? The why. Tell people your why. Then you tell them the how and you tell them the what. So those it's like the bricklayer story, but now it's in reverse. Starting with that third statement, which was how realtors help people achieve financial freedom and provide their to, so they can provide their families with shelter. That is what you do. That is your why, the how, and then the what. It just kind of encircles that. So when you're communicating in your marketing, that's what I want to see. Now, social media. Can I go to the next slide? You can. Okay. I'm going off on a tangent. Oh, good. So <laughs> I'm, I'm on a tangent. You are on tangent today. I like so it. So the, the social media <laughs> aspect. I, when, I, when I speak to my clients, you know, or potential client, they always start with the same sentence. Oh, you know, I, I really don't, I need somebody who's going to help me with my social media. <laughs> Now, I don't do social media per se. I'm not a digital marketing agency, okay? But I will tell you that if you're coming to me because you want me to figure out how I can put more posts out there that talk about your income, that's not going to, that's not what you need.
Correct. You need somebody to come and give you a good, a good waking up, a good splash of cold water that says to you, why, why are you telling the story? What is your goal? Everything that you do should start with what is my goal and how do I reach that goal? Yes. Okay. So that we call that like a one, in a one, three, five scenario goal, the three strategies and the five priorities. So tell me what it is that you're trying to do with a post that says I sold $50 million in real estate. What is that? What is you tell me what you think? That I, is. I think that's ego. You really I think, think so? that I think if you tell me that 50 million, you're you, your feet, you're feeling like hmm. it's important to the world. So I, I think it, I think it has an aspect of ego, but I also think it has to do with um, feeling successful. Like, so the measurement of success is money for some people. Yes. It so is. that I think that that's why I asked the question. I asked the question because I want you to think like the viewer. So what does the viewer think the reason why you're posting this is? Is it to, because, and I think some people think, well, you know what? Oh, they see that I'm a successful realtor. They will work with me. That, that's They'll exactly work. why they, no, I agree with you, but I, I think but it's an interesting, it, yeah. it doesn't work. Yeah. There's something about, there's an old saying, Stacey uses Ooh. it all the time. Uh, money screams and wealth whispers. Mm. And so when people when people uh, have to put out their money or their, oh, I just did seventy five million in transactions this month. Look, I guess that feeds some people, but I would tell you that the majority of the people it does not feed, and it only feeds the people who also like to give out that information. Is what I find, and most people don't choose a business owner or a realtor based on your seventy-five million dollars worth of transactions. Yeah, and that's the thing. So the, the it's like asking the yes questions. You know, like um, Jamie Miller would would say, you know, if you're going to ask, I always say too, you should when you ask a question, you should know the answer. You don't really put put a question out there like an attorney would. They don't ask you questions that they don't know the answer to. That's so true. if you're going to put out a, a statement of how much money you've made this because of this 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 is on you know the market's on fire right now. Um, what you're looking for is you're looking for congratulations. That's correct. Okay? Congratulations is big. That's what you're looking for. Are you looking for new business? You should be always looking for new business. You should. Um, and you know what? I think that we have to change the the message. So when you think and act and communicate from the inside out, okay, so going deeper, you know, just, I'm so visual. So I'm thinking of, think about what's inside of you. That's what runs your body, right? The organs, the blood, all of that, that goes deeper. Okay, the superficial is this. This is the skin and what we kind of look like today, which, you know, the, the hair day is not too bad today. <laughs> but... What I want you to concentrate on is that guts. What is the guts of who you are? Your why? That is the inside. Look at that circle. That is your deepness. That is what's your motivation and what do you believe? That's the kind of thing. If you're going to be wanting any kind of social media help, that's the kind of help I'm going to give you today. The wake up call. Stop talking about the what, which is your result. Look how far out that is. That's the skin. That is the superficial. The what, okay? So the result of your why is the right. It's, it's the proof. So you're all, you're a great agent because you sold fifty million. No, that's not how it works. Okay, the the fifty million came because of all of the what's inside of you, the deepness. Okay, now that's what you should be communicating is the deepness. Yes. So agreed. I love that because I think a lot of people are afraid to do that. And they don't realize how powerful that actually is. It is the yeah. I mean, just think about it. your your brain, your heart. It is what keeps you alive. It is the only thing that really counts because this is going to change the exterior. So don't focus on just the exterior. That what you know, the, the result of your efforts. Talk about your efforts. So when we talk about that, we mean documenting. Don't create. Don't create stuff to make it seem that you're doing something. Okay, so let's go to the next thing that, well, no, I don't mean that. I mean, let's go to the what makes people creating co content all the time. They're yes. creating their world. I, I Explain to me when people post pictures, whether it's male or female, of themselves in a provocative pose in front of a home 
or maybe a just a provocative pose in front of a swimming pool. It's, I, it's fascinating, right? So I, I get that you want to have fun and you kind of want to let your hair down. Uh, but there's an interest to me. There's a for me personally, I'll tell you, there's a time and a place. But yeah. I, you know, you're not going to see this dad bod in any provocative <laughs> poses anytime soon. Well, I go back to the same answer that I said before. <laughs> it's for congr congratulations. Yeah. People are looking for uh, congratulations. They're looking for um, uh, what do you call that when you want someone's approve approval? Yes, you're looking. Yeah, you're <laughs> yeah. <laughs> approval. Woo, we what can tell what it? kind of day this is. When somebody when somebody's <laughs> seeking approval, that's what they do. Now, you know what? This I I have no problem showing off you know, when you have you know accomplish something so great um in your in your goal is to you know have lost weight or to gain muscle or to finish the marathon i think that's amazing stuff and it's really powerful the message is powerful um but i the thing in social media is that everything you put out there you, you when you try to create a world that world looks superficial so yes. it's once again it's that what that's that what it's that outside layer it doesn't go deep enough to help your business no, it and doesn't. your life flourish. So the next. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm a little behind. Here we oh, go. Oh, you're good. This is so much better when it's like. Being... <laughs> so this is how it goes. Discuss a difficult time in your life and how you overcame it. How I've seen some incredible posts. I want people to know that I've seen some in really amazing stuff, you know, from like, um, I guess I always, I always say Wendy Stewart because Wendy Stewart is like one of the most genuine people yes. you'll ever come across and, and, and her business flourishes because of her ge being so genuine and authentic. Um, so putting out things that are real, like your struggle. I love it that you just bought a Mercedes. I love it. But how you, can you tell the story of how you would, you know, that there was a 1979 Skylark, Buick Skylark in your driveway like two hours ago. Oh, we ago. went to Buick Skylark. I know, I'm loving it. I know. It really, <laughs> I went really, don't even make Buicks anymore. See, that's how far back I Jeez, These kids are going to have to Google Buick. Buick Skylark, people. <laughs> I actually wanted that car. It was a hot car at the time. So, but this is the thing. I want to know how you came to that Mercedes. I want to know what your, what was your life prior to that? Because it shows that you had, you accomplished something. The accomplishment is not that you can go buy a Mercedes. It, the accomplishment is the journey to the thing that you believe yes. you know, validates you. I don't believe that material things validate you, and a lot of people will see that. And, and the wealthy people out there, they don't think that those validate you either. Correct. Okay, Because believe me, they're not wealthy because they're looking for people or seeking people's validation. So uh, I want you to go and think about a funny moment that changed the way you think and feel about something. Share something that you learned during your career that changed the trajectory of your goals. You know, show how pivoting helped you to succeed. You know, realtors out there, I know that some of you lived through some really rough times back in 2007, right? Yes, 2008. they did. Um, they all did. And then what's that market look like today and how you, what you've learned, which it also shows longevity, right? show where you how you came to success and find and share a deep moment that defined you um ted is always he's such this is like the epitome of everything that's right is ted so watch him learn from him he is vulnerable did you hear that what did you hear that oh yeah oh i said well did i hear it? did i hear it? i heard it i said it so he's amazing so the things that you need to do really should be shaped by the reaction so, you know, of course, I see a lot of people congratulating. Um, as a matter of fact, I have to admit, I did congratulate that person, but I'll tell you what I did. Tell me. I wrote congratulations on helping so many families over the course of the, those over the last 12 months that you've succeeded to make 50 million in sales. Very nice. That's how I congratulated the person. You think they got it? I, I hope so. <laughs> I, I don't. I'm not. I'm not saying that he's wrong. No. In any way, because I am so happy that that person did as well as they did. I mean, that's. But it phenomenal. leaves me wanting more. It leaves me wanting. I just to know wanna... the story. What? How did you do it? What did you yeah. overcome? Bring it back to the roots. Like, how did yeah. you, you helped people? And that's what I see when I look at you. When I look at you, I see somebody who helped people. And I know that others look at you that way as well. And I want you to see yourself that way. Yes. So I would try to hold the mirror up to you to say, you did phenomenal, but I want to remind you, I see you as a success, not because of the money, 
I see you as a success because you help so many people. That's correct. Oh, so, I love that. That's good stuff. Yeah. All right. Sorry, I'm behind. No. Ted hit a button. This is what happens when Ted's trying to go live and do a million things. I, I make Ted nervous. <laughs> no, you. I'm just not used to you being so close. I love it. <laughs> this is what the old days were, remember? Yeah, I'm, uh, out, I'm out of control. <laughs> All right, keep talking. I'm going to bring so, up the window. Yeah, basically what I want people to know is that it's really important that you, to drive conversion, because this is like, we're talking business, right? This is a business thing. To drive conversion, conversion means you know, making money from your efforts, your efforts, whether they are social media or their, you know, uh, video or their emails or their postcards. You, yes, you need a good branding campaign and a good branding campaign starts with transparency, right? You tell people what your business struggle was and then tell them how you pulled through, you tell the story. That's how you convert. You know, documenting the story, people will start caring about you and in turn, your product or service. People have to care about you, not just congratulate you, not just see you as a superficial piece of skin. They have to see you as something that they find commonality and familiarity in, which builds the trust. So I can't say that I made $50 million in sales this year. I mean, I would love to, but I, I'm honest. I didn't make $50 million no. in sales. Um, and the truth is, is that I don't believe that people who are going to work with me are going to work with me because of that. They're going to work with me because I'm genuine. I'm yes. authentic. I tell the truth always, and I'm going to, which means I'm going to tell my customers the truth. Um, and that, that might be something that maybe you don't want. Maybe you don't want. Another story. That's two thirds of the people out there. Right? Like <laughs> one third will want to work with me because they're going to get real, real, you know, advice. And if they don't like it, they won't work with me. That's correct. So that's what you should just be yourself, be authentic. So if your authentic self is to overshare, then I can't. I mean, I'm like, what am I going to do? I mean, I can't. I can't take it. That's just going to be you. <laughs> and I think that'll that'll rope what? in. What we so overshare on social. <laughs> Look, you know, I'm guilty of probably sharing um, things that are, I don't know, I'm, I like to just share, but I try to share because I'm feeling it. I know other people are feeling it. I also think your reasons for sharing, uh, people can smell those a mile away. So if you're sharing to get the accolades because you need that, trust me, people know that. But if you're sharing because you're really proud of yourself and you, you've come so far and you just want the world to know you can do it too, people also know that and feel it as well. And you can tell it in your message, in my opinion. I think, yeah, you just have to come across as being genuine and coming across just, it's not, it's not that easy. Um, people will choose simple stories over action-driven ads and then time and time again because stories, right? What do stories do? Make people feel, make people relate, make people care. It goes beyond advertising. So don't advertise your successes. Advertise the, the journey to the success. Advertise how it is that the, what the what that you do. It, it causes the why to happen for you. Yes. Maybe that's maybe it's a reversal for you. But talking about your why is always going to be much higher than the what. So yeah. Just think about it. Refrain from letting people know your success is money driven because then they see you only that way and make sure that people know your success comes from the real reason why you do what you do. And I have met, I don't know, thousands of you realtors out there, thousands, and you all tell me the same thing. <laughs> I do this because I love helping people. That is the, what you tell me time and time again, but your social media your emails, your postcards, your communications never, well, I say never, hardly reflect that which is who you are, which are people who love to help people. Yes. So I want you to re refocus your efforts. If you need social media help, your social media help starts from within 
And then um, make sure that you, when you are posting things, you're posting things that you know always, what is the goal of this post? So this is just an example of um, something that when you're putting out, and you know, I hate newsletters, right? Newsletters are not a thing for me, but love letters are. Ted knows love letters are. So love letters. Speak to people and tell them your why. Tell them. So this is just an example of a why for, for two agents, uh, Amanda Wood and Kim, Kim Griffin, uh, they are of Remax. I, they talk about their why. What is it that gets them up in the morning to do what they do? That is the most powerful storytelling that you can do in your business. So, you know, think about that. Sit down one day and figure out what it is that you do. What you do. I doubt it's because you made fifty million in sales. <laughs> what? That's not why. Everybody wants to pay their bills. Everybody. That's not a why. Is that a why? No, it's not a why. Everybody wants to buy a Mercedes. That's not a why. Okay? That's like basic survival skills. Well, wherever yeah, you're at, I, mean, I could survive in a Mercedes. Yeah, I mean, you know, call me. Right. That's what I'm trying to say. So what is your why? It goes so much beyond the material things and the, and the money in your bank account. And I know this because you keep telling me what it is, you, why you do what you do. Communicate that to others. So the more that you can get the folks around you to see your sense of purpose and mission, the more you can get them to rally behind you. I will rally behind you all day long the more that you tell people your why. Um, successful people and organizations express their why. They do what they need, what they do, rather than focusing on what they do. So let's stop talking about how much money you're making. Keep that amongst your family. Keep that amongst your friends. Uh, although, you know what it is? I think people think Facebook is where you talk about that. It's interesting. It's like your friend bulletin board. It, it, it's a, for some people, they... They utilize it in a way. Now, there's there's an oversharing, which we could do an entire show on, which you touched on. But I always joke, like, people people don't do business with me because of my incredible charm and good looks. They don't? Wink, wink. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I believe they do business with me because I am just as vulnerable and authentic as, I, as anybody could be. And I strive to do that. I'm not perfect. But you get what you get when you, you know exactly what you get and you know how I'm feeling about things. And the comment I get a lot is that you made me feel this way. If, if you're getting that from your social media, if people are saying to you, I love what you posted, this is how I felt. Uh, Christian Plosika posted this morning, I think on Facebook, he had a picture with his nephew and a baby. And all I could think about was nothing there except him with the baby. And I felt so good seeing him and seeing the baby smile and seeing him smile. That has nothing to do with business. That has nothing to do with him telling me uh, what he's doing. It just was a good feeling. I want to be around people who make me feel good or who I feel good around. So well, I say, it. but does it? You said it has nothing to do with business, but does it? It well, does. It does. Because You're guess right. what? If you, but what did I just say in my last slide? When people see the authentic you, they will rally around you. Yes. So they see that you have a family. They they see that you have family values. They see you have a they they can see you as a person. They can rally behind a person. They can't rally behind a bank account. It's true. Does they that can't. make sense? Yes, a hundred percent. I want to do business with people. What is the saying that I, that make that I like, trust, enjoy being around? Um, there are plenty of people that like to do business with people who aren't like that. And I say, go forth and do good. Oh, yeah. I want to be around people that I feel comfortable with, that I trust, that I like their story and their journey. And I know that what they're doing and I know their why. Once I understand their why, I feel so much better about working. A simple picture of, of Christian holding a baby or with his son at a baseball game yep. is all the why you could ever, it's ever true. speak. So true. So yeah. Good I, stuff. All right, Yvonne, how do they reach you? How can they find out more about Leverage 365? Leverage 365. So it's getleverage365.com, 407-915-8000. And um, obviously through Yvonne Sandoval, my Facebook page, which is my Facebook page, me, just you. me. It's yeah, you. I, I, don't, I don't have much of a life, so I don't post... <laughs> I don't post anything. I have no life. Um, all I do is business. But you know what? My business is fun. So our businesses are fun. Yeah, We're very if, blessed. If all right. Know. So we'll be back. Reach out to Yvonne. 
getleverage365.com. You can reach her anytime. We'll be back in two weeks, I think. And we'll be bringing you more top of mind stuff. Y'all get out there. Go do you. Be the best you that you can be and show everybody your why. Have a great week. Stay safe and dry. We'll see you soon. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.